goodbye to Seattle, Washington, and we are headed to Vancouver, Canada. Yay. It's gonna be super cool. We're taking the Bolt bus. It's a four hour, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they, have 40 minutes. they say it's super beautiful as well. So we're looking forward to it. We're gonna reach there at 2 p.m. and we got a lot to explore. We're staying in Gaston, or Gaston, I don't know how you say that, in downtown. So um, it's like a really nice neighborhood that we're just looking at the hotel in uh, on Google Maps, and there's all these nice like special takeoff places in the area, nice restaurants, or like super cool. Well, right now I'm. Freezing. It's actually super cold today. It's gotten colder every single day that we've been here. Eh? I know. Oh yeah, you're dressed warm. You're good. You're good. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> now we're together for life. That's it. Oh, now we're together for life <laughs> because of the scarf. Wow, it's so warm. It's cold. It's so good. <laughs> oh man, I hope the bus gets here soon. <laughs> We arrived in Vancouver, dropped our stuff at the hotel, got changed, and now we are walking around a beautiful neighborhood. This is those are Richards and Richard Street, and we just passed by a park called Emery Barnes Park. Oh yeah, beautiful houses on the left side. We yeah, this would be a great part of town to live in, I guess. I know. I like that, and we are actually headed to a market to, of course, get some food. All right, peeps, the market is actually on an island called Granville Island, and we are getting on ferry to go over to the island. On the island, we came from the other side, right over there. Or on this side, we came on one of these boats. And it looks like they just keep running and running. Wow, it's amazing! I would love to live in one of those buildings over there with this kind of view. If you do live in one of those buildings right here in Vancouver, drop me some messages below because I gotta say, well done, and I gotta say, amazing. <laughs> Oh yeah, right? yeah. Indoor like this. You guys have been to Latvia. This big like warehouses turned into market. You're in heaven. My favorite. I love it. Wow. Did you Found some awesome bagels, egg, cheese filled bagels, and smoked meat for me as and well. We'll stand outside and eat them. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So we're gonna head out of here because there isn't a place to sit or stand and eat here. And you know what? You want to have a hot bagel and eggs in the cold weather outside. At least that's the way that I want it. All right. So, how are the olives? They're amazing. Yeah, actually I had a couple as well. Super good. Oh no, no, you're gonna have oil in your bag. Woo, she wants to put like a 
A little pack of olives full of oil in her bag. Okay, let's just like put it over here for a second. Oh, look at that. Pimpernickel bagel. Got that smoked meat. Got the egg. Got that cheese. And the heat. Looking great, looking great. That Yum. looks amazing. <laughs> Damn, I wasted a little bit. Oh my God, that's phenomenal. Worth the wait? Oh, definitely <laughs> worth the walk and everything. See what yours looks like. I so wasn't yours as is, adventurous. <laughs> that's pretty adventurous. Multi-grain bagel. Egg and cheese. Yummy. By the way, you can put some of those olives on your Yeah. That'd be pretty good as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm adding those olives are just like awesome. But you're right, we do need some coffee or a drink or something with this. Leave your other half. Yo. Alright, coffee? Yeah. Coffee. Yes, please. Thank you. I think you're gonna like that one, huh? Smells nice from here. Yeah. Cinnamony, like you like it? Cinnamony, creamy, really good. Good job, JJB. <laughs> All right, so I got two types of cherries. First of all, these local cherries, dark red. I mean, look at that. God, these are like huge. Look how big they are on the palm of my hand. Oh my God, that is superb. I also got me some of these Rainier cherries, which are of course from Seattle, Washington, from the Rainier Mountains. Oh man, my God, we gotta pay such high prices for fresh food like this, especially cherries. So, you know when we find something like this, we got a bag with us walking around and just eating it on the go as a snack, of course, while Ahlam shops. Still trying out all the food. There's so much to try over here and I'm trying to keep space in my stomach. More of them. Yum. Oh, bone marrow. I want these burgers. Make soup. My favorite burgers. Hey peeps, we found something that resembles a bean. Not sure what it is. If you guys know, drop us some notes below. Because, you know, we're not going to do the customary thing and ask somebody over here. Look at that yellow bean. Yellow tomatoes. Yellow string beans. Yellow tomatoes. It's going on YouTube. Get in there. I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> so it's basically fries, like all crispy like that. That's cheese. So cheese curd and then brown gravy. Oh yeah. Well, that's good. By the way, they gave us this so that we could pick up and put on the plates. But we're Arabs. Straight from the dish. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what genius came up with this idea, but thank you. There we go. I guess you could do this with any type of fries, but I like the fact that these are crispy. So just add another element to the whole thing. Any other words of 
wisdom. You definitely can't do this every day though, guys. I mean, all this cheese, all this gravy and fries, carbs and carbs and I don't know. <laughs> oh, and just to wash it down, got me one of this hibiscus lemon homemade soda. The kind of food we should be eating before going to a wedding. <laughs> but, but here's the thing we tend to eat all of our sugary, carby stuff in the morning and then we walk a lot towards the end of the evening and then we go to sleep early. So we actually do it right. If you're gonna have all that stuff, have it as early as possible. I hope you're right. Anyways, this is gonna be the last time we're having this, so it's all good. I feel like it's less prevalent over here than it would be in Montreal because I know a lot of my friends out of Montreal told me about this dish to begin with. Lucky we got this one. Super good. You could go all crazy with it. There's cheese you could use on this, There's potatoes you could use on this, and gravy. You gotta stay away from brown gravy. Share and subscribe and see you in our next video. Peace out.